I'm Creative Cramble, back with another one. Yeah, so this is a follow up video from my skirting video. And the next process that you're going to be doing after you've done your skirtings is your caulking, you're filling up your, uh, your nail holes uh, in your corners and stuff like that, and then also your caulking. So I'm all ready to go. That's the cork that I'm going to be using. So get rid of this cork. Bit only. I've got a little bit of a pre-made polyfiller that's already made up. That's ready to go there. The paint I'm going to be using on the skirtings, and um, that's a quick dry eggshell low, low sheen, pure brilliant white, and that's for wood or for metal. Got a few brushes in there, a little tray just for my paint. Nice just to cut the tip of the, uh, the nozzle there at an angle. So yeah, I've checked all the um, all the skirts for any, uh, any nails sticking out. Because when you are using a nail gun, they do sometimes uh, stick out. But I've checked all the holes there, and lucky enough, I haven't got any sticking out. But what I'll do first is fill the pin holes in, the nail holes, all the way around. Once they're drying back a little bit, then I can do my corker on the top. I'm also going to be corking the bottom as well. All the way around. So I'll do in the top. And also the bottom as well. So yeah, first job. Do me filling, then me corking, then me rubbing down. And then I can do the pin. Yeah, so when you're cutting your nozzle, you need to do it at an angle. I'm going to cut the very tip off there, at an angle. Right at the very end there. That's perfect, that. Not too much is going to come out of that. The gaps aren't that big. And then what we're going to do is get some cork in there. Okay, now I've got a nice bead all the way through there. What I normally do is, well, the best tool for the job is your finger. And I just get a damp cloth. I'll do one strike first through with the finger. Just like that. Just give that cloth a bit of a rinse out. And then all I'm going to do is just strike that through there with the cloth. That's the best way I find doing it. Again, just use your finger, take an ink off there. It's already looking pretty good. Not just there, that one length there is nearly complete now. I'm just 
get a bit in that corner. He always did in the corners as well. So I'll be going striking that through there. Like that. While I'm here, I might as well do this one here. There's a bit more of a gap there as well, but I'll just pump a bit more in. The gaps aren't horrendous. They aren't too sad. I'll do that return. And a little bit there. Just to show you how it's done. Again, I just use the finger. Work my way around there. A little bit of a damn clock. It's all got to be painted up. That's just going to blend in nicely, that. And then the corners. Lovely job. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to carry on round through there. I'm going to do all the tops first, then I'll do the bottoms after that as well. And hopefully I'll get you a nice close-up of the bait I do there. I mean, that's really thin through there, sitting down nicely on the board. Hoping to get you a nice close-up there uh, of, the, of the bait going through there. But yeah, carry on round, do the same process all the way around. And that's how, the, that's how I do my corking. Yeah, so with, with a bit of practice, this is how quick you can really do it. There you go, as quick as that. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get you a nice close up here of me uh, corking the bottom of the, of, of the skirt in there. I'm going to work myself all the way around, then I'll just use my finger uh, and then with a damp cloth go over that. Just going to do a nice thin bed all the way through. in bed.
problems with this work my way around. Take me time. I might use a little bit of masking tape on, on the floor. Um, I don't normally uh, use the masking tape, but I might just put that on there just for a bit of quickness uh, to work my way around the scales when I'm painting. What I'll do now is just uh, get all that painted, then I'll show you the end results. It's all in the preparation. A lot of time goes into the preparation as well. But once you've got it right, the paint should go in there lovely and you won't have to do no more. Yeah, well happy with that. Let's get a little paint on there. Yeah, so I'm all painted up now. Um, I'll give these curtains two coats of paint now. Um, looking really good. The finish is absolutely fantastic. All right, you see these bits here there, that's where my old skirt was. All right, because I had a six inch skirt, a uh, four inch skirt. Um, all I've got to do is rub them down and then just paint that wall again. But the skirt is now we're all done. Absolutely well pleased with the results there. Like I said, I've given two coats all the way through. I will let that dry back um, for at least another 12 hours anyway. See how it looks, and if it needs another go on over, I will definitely do that. But, two goings over, all oh, looking really good there, nice and sharp there on the, the, uh, the external there, Mike is there. Looking nice there on the cork and going through. All the way through there. So, well pleased with the job anyway. And there was a scarf joint somewhere around there, but can't even see it now, so well pleased with that. So yeah, the skirt's all painted up. Well pleased with all um, with the progress there. That is a good job. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, turn on notifications and I'll see you in the next one.